I'm also bound to mention this. We talked about the trade dri train drivers union claiming victory after they've got that nearly 15 percent pay rise covering the last three years by the government. In a further win for the ASLEF members, the new agreement with Labour fails to reform outdated, costly and restricted working practices going back to the 1980s. Now, I don't know if you're aware of these. The, the, what I'm about to tell you is utterly extraordinary. These are called the so-called Spanish practices. I'm sure that would be deemed by some as a slightly inappropriate way of describing something. But they were called Spanish practices. Don't know the history of that, but, uh, but they include things like this, all right? So this is still, this is within the agreement that ASLEF have made with the government. And there's two specifics that stand out here. One is the right for workers to, are you ready? You might want to be sitting down when I read this. It's the right for workers to restart their lunch break if they are spoken to by a member of management. You heard that correctly. It's the right. So there you are, you're knocking off at one o'clock for a cup of tea and some sandwiches. And you sit down either in the cafeteria or maybe in an old railway siding, just to make it sound nice and rail-based. And you're munching away on your pick -a lily and everything's good, and you've got an hour. What time is it? I've got plenty of time. And yonder, down the track, who's coming your way but the supervisor? Got a yellow high-vis on and a big beard. You recognise him. You're eating your sandwiches, having a little sip of your Nesquik. Life is good. Back at work in 10 minutes, boss comes along and says, all right, Harry, how's it going? Yeah, it's fine, thanks. Out of a bush behind you pops a man with a whistle. Right, everybody out. He's been spoken to by a member of management. Restart his lunch hour. I'm sure even Bob down there, or was it Harry, is sitting there going, hang on, sorry, yeah, you've, got to, you've got the right to restart your lunch break now because you were spoken to by a member of management, and that is illegal. We will not have members of management interfering with a piccalilli based lunch break for our members. Start the lunch break again. I know you can't fire him, that's in the agreement that we've just done with Keir Starmer. S sorry, what? Yeah. If you get spoken to by a member of management during your lunch break, we restart the lunch break again. That's the way it works. Anyone calling for that should be taken out the back and put in some stocks, surely, for crimes of abject idiocy. I mean, we can factor in greed and preposterousness as much as we like. Uh, but let's just call, call it idiocy for what it is. Which sits hand in hand with another Spanish practice that has also been agreed by the rail unions, and that is to allow members paid time off for medical checks for staff who use microwaves. Back in the day, in 1980, lots of rumours went around about the microwave oven. It was a bit new and people assumed that it might well warm up your Cornish pasty, but it's probably going to give you a free x-ray while you're doing it. That stuff's got demons in there. That is a box of absolute horror right there. It might go ping, it might cook things very, very fast, but you know what it's also doing? It's cooking your lungs as you warm up your lunch. So get down to the hot, get checked by the lung people to make sure the microwave hasn't somehow inflamed your kidneys or done something awful to your spleen. And so they came to an agreement back then well, a bit, we, nobody can counter this argument about the miserable microwave and its intentions of doom. So, uh, yeah, we better get let the workers down there because we know that Beryl heated up a Frey Bentos not half an hour ago and she doesn't look quite right. She's looking a bit iffy, a bit pale, maybe. Beryl, get down to the A&E. So off goes Beryl, full pay. You might as well take the whole day off, frankly. Sorry, you in the middle of your lunch hour while I asked you that. Yes, I am. Well, start the lunch hour again and then take the day off. And don't eat Frey Bentos either, it comes in a tin, you can't put that stuff in a microwave. Now that law is still in place. So if you utilise a microwave and you're an ASLEF member, there's every chance you might say, I'm feeling a bit iffy today. Uh, nothing to do with the bucket of KFC you've just eaten for your lunch. No, no, nothing to do with that, Governor. Uh, I think I'd better get down to the microwave department at the hospital, just to have me innards checked, because you never know. 
So yes, they got their 14.25%, and it's you know trebles all round for the union members. Uh, they got what they wanted, but they've also got the right to get medical checks if they use a microwave and if their boss speaks to them during lunchtime to restart their lunch hour. Can you imagine a world anywhere where you'd be able to conjure up that? Can you imagine going for a job over there, I don't know, at Santander or Tesco? And as you got the job for chief shelf stacker, you said, oh, just, just, just one more thing. Um, it, uh, can you just make sure you don't talk to me during my lunch hours? And if you do, I would like to restart the lunch hour again. They'd knock your teeth out, wouldn't they? And fair enough as well. You're half-wit. Get out. You no longer have the job.